Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video we have some Natasha Denona Nunes, my mini dream palette and my mini cheek palette are already here and in today's video I'm going to be trying out both of these. I'm going to be showing you swatches and of course we are going to be comparing them. I brought out a lot of my favorite nudish Natasha Denona palettes to compare to the new mini so that we can see whether we already have very similar shades to these in our collection. First impressions, and I feel like just by me putting the palette up, you can see it here in my room and in my camera as well. It is much darker in person than I remember seeing in any images I've seen on social media. It looked quite pale to me, but I feel like there is some nice amount of pigmentation, especially to a couple of these shades. So we will see. We'll definitely have to compare this palette to some of our other favorite Natasha Denona palettes. And of course, I'm going to be creating a look today. So if you are excited for today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's get this mini palette out of the box. And the box came kind of decorated the same as the whole My Dream collection, which if you guys don't know, the My Dream collection from Natasha Denona is one of my all-time favorite collections she has ever done, in particular because she completed it with the most amazing lip products ever that are an everyday staple for me. So I've been very excited for this release and the fact that she added more to her collection. By the way, this is already available at Sephora and the Natasha Denona website. If you shop from the Natasha Denona website, Remember to save 15% off using my code PATTY15. You never have to pay full price on the Natasha Denona website because I have a discount code. PATTY15 will save you 15% off of anything your heart desires on the Natasha Denona website. And by using my code, you're also helping me out. If you're interested in getting these from Sephora though, I'll have the Sephora link down below in the description box as well. Here is what the little palette looks like. She put the little blotchy black stains on the clear cap and then once you open it here is what the palette looks like i absolutely love how nice and neutral it is i like this shimmer in the center hopefully it's nice and shiny shades like this one are incredible for transition and i really hope that this brown is pigmented so that we can get a really nice smoky effect with this palette. This transition shade right here called Nurture was taken from the original My Dream palette. So that is the only repeated shade you'll get in the mini palette if you have this one. So check it out right here. This is the shade Nurture. I need to clean this. What kind of presentation was that? A little better, right? So this is my dream palette and that right there is the shade Nurture. Anyways, before I get into swatches, let's check out the mini dream glow blush right here. Ooh, this is my first time seeing it. I hadn't opened it yet and it is lovely. We'll also be comparing this one to the shades in the my dream cheek trio um, from the previous release, but I love the blush shades. I actually do really love that she included a bit of a darker one because it'll help for darker complexions, of course. But then you can also kind of layer the two blushes together beautifully and the highlighter looks lovely. Let's get to the swatches and the first thing I want to swatch is the new mini palette, of course. So let's see what we got going on here. This brown is so silky smooth. Here's what the first four shades look like. I will say the shiny shades are kind of regular Natasha Denona shimmers. They don't have the sparkle that I love, um, but she has given us a lot of sparkle this year. So I guess I can't complain too much. Do I wish this was sparkly? I do. <laughs> Anyways, here is the shade Devotion Swashed, which is a lovely rose champagne type shimmer. Then we have Balance, which is a beautiful matte transition-y type shade. It's nice and cool toned. Passionate is that very light champagne color. Again, I wish it had a bit of sparkle, but it's still nice and shiny. And then the beautiful brown shade is called Loyalty, and it is such a creamy, dark, neutral brown. Only shade I have left to swatch is our repeated shade, which is called Nurture. And this one is a beautiful light to mid-tone neutral brown so check it out right here this is how the my dream 
little quince swatches from Natasha Denona. It is lovely and it is a perfect mini palette to have and like travel with and take with you everywhere because this fits in your pocket. It is super teeny tiny and these shades are nice and pigmented and they're blendable and you can create some really beautiful neutral looks with it. Not a whole lot of variety of looks with the shades in here but really good, pretty, everyday staple looks for sure. So let's go ahead and swatch the mini palette. I'm swatching the highlighter first right there, nice and shiny. Light blush and then the deeper blush right here. Let me intensify that light blush just a bit, take a look. And then I wanna swatch both of these combined because I feel like that's the way a lot of us are going to end up using these blushes, kind of combined since they're tiny in the pan. And I feel like combined, they're going to be very pretty. So here are the blushes combined. I love pinky peachy blushes and the combination of these two gives me exactly that. So I'm very excited to play with these. Time to create an eyeshadow look. Let me get you guys a little closer. And I did already prime my eyes today with my Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer. First color I want to use is the lightest shade, which is this one here. And I'm using a big fluffy brush to blend that color all throughout the crease of my eye. And I feel like my sweater is perfect for this review, if I do say so myself. <laughs> so I'm just going to back and forth just blend that shade all throughout the crease as well as the outer third of my eye back here with back and forth windshield wiper motions. And let's repeat over on this side. Check out that color blended all throughout the crease and I'm going to intensify things a bit with a slightly smaller fluffy brush and our mid-tone brown shade. So I'm going to start on the outer third of my eyelid back here, just tapping to intensify the entire eyeshadow look. And then once the color is there, I'm going to back and forth blend it into the transition. And this is already giving me a bit of smokiness, a bit of depth. And I'm just going to work it like a three fourths of the way through the crease, kind of stopping right there. Let's repeat over on this side. I feel like we achieved quite a bit of smokiness in this eye look with this shade right here. So once we go on to the dark brown, we can create some really, really smoky looks. So I would say that this palette will actually work for everyone, which makes me so happy. I'm going to show you two different stages of depth for this eyeshadow look. So this is kind of stage number one and I'm going to move on to the shimmers and then we'll intensify the smokiness later. So I'm going to just tap that shimmer shade Passionate into the center of my eyelid first, just tapping it with my finger right here. That was the wrong shade. I didn't mean to use that shade there. Crap. Devotion is the shade I meant to put in the middle, so I'm going to do it on this eye and hopefully I can make them even later. <laughs> a bit more Devotion. Devotion's not as shiny. It's a bit darker, a bit more neutral, a little bit more natural looking, if you will. So I'm just tapping it right through the center. Let me see if I can put some Devotion over here, just to try and make things look the same. With a flat brush, I'm going to grab the middle shade. This time I do want to use the lightest shimmer in the palette. And I'm going to complete this look by adding that color to the inner third of my eyelid, inner corner and defining my crease with it a bit. All right, just defining the crease right here and then grabbing some more of that same shade. And we're going to do the same thing over on this eye. This right here is the look I was meaning to do. This one looks a bit brighter overall because I made the mistake of putting the lighter shade in the center. Um, I feel like I made it kind of look similar-ish, but they don't look quite the same. So I'm sorry about that. <laughs> um, but take a look right there at that beautiful champagne, pinky, smoky eye right there. I am loving it. So this is the top of the look. If you want to keep it everyday, natural, not too smoky, it looks really pretty. But I do want to use every color in the palette, so we are going to smoke it up just a bit more. I'm grabbing a small blending brush and we are going into our deep brown smoky shade back here and just working it into the outer V of the eye. I'm just doing little circles exactly 
where I want to place it and blending it forward through the crease just about halfway through, I would say. And take a look at how nice and smoky that immediately became. I did that in no time <laughs> um, versus our more natural look we had going on just a few seconds ago. So loving that. Smoke it up over here as well. For my waterline, I'm going to use this Laura Mercier eyeliner in the shade Coco, which I love because it's a dark, rich brown that has a bit of redness added to it. And so it makes my eyes pop quite a bit. But any brown eyeliner you have around will definitely work. With a tiny blending brush, I'm going into this dark brown right here. And I am back and forth just going to smudge it right between my lower lash line. Back and forth just like so. All the way to the tear duct area. Ooh, that looks so pretty and so smoky and so glamorous. Loving it, loving it, loving it. So let me just do the same thing over on this side. Connecting it right here at the end and then I'm going into my transition color with a slightly Bigger blending brush and we are going to smoke that out a Bit further soften the harshness underneath the eye if you will just back and forth With this tiny blending brush take a look here is the completed smoky eye again This one looks a bit brighter, but this is kind of what I intended to show you now I do like the brighter side a bit better so I am going to just add a bit more brightness to this eye right here so now for real this is my completed eye look today because now both eyes look even <laughs> I went ahead and put on a bit of mascara and some lashes and it is time to move on to the cheek palette so with my fluffy brush right here I'm going to attempt to just grab the middle shade I don't know if I can just do that. I grabbed mostly the middle shade, but then there's a little bit of the darker shade at the bottom there. And so I'm going to kind of strategically place my brush so that the darker tone is not as high as the lighter tone. Let me just grab some more and just apply the blush like so. So very, very pretty colors. So for the other cheek, I'm just going to swirl them together and we're going to get that mixed color which should be just a tad bit darker and a little peachier so that I can show you it on this side. And I feel like this is the way I see me using it every time I use it, just mixing the two blushes together. It's the easiest way to grab it for sure. And also when I swatched it, I felt like that was the prettiest blush color you could get out of this palette. So you can see how this looks lighter, this looks a little peachier, a little darker, but I like this better. So once again, mixing. <laughs> Let me just darken up my first cheek right here, adding a little on the nose. And I like to raise my blush up to my temples a bit so that it doesn't abruptly stop on my cheeks, you know? So here's what the mixed blushes look like applied. Absolutely loving the way that looks. And it is time for the highlighter. I do have a smaller brush for the highlighter and I'm just going to grab a bit of it. The highlighter is quite pigmented. And also it feels softer than I would have expected. Nothing negative about that. Those little dots are an allergic reaction I'm having, so ignore them. <laughs> um, anyways, it's a bit softer than I expected, but I don't think that's bad. It's quite easy to apply and easy to blend as well. I can always show you better on this cheek for some reason. <laughs> Take a look right there at what that highlighter looks like. And back with the blush brush so that it mixes nicely. We've officially used all of the new products in this Natasha Denona collection. I'm loving the way everything is looking so far and I have to complete the look with the My Dream lip products, right? I have to. So let me grab the lip liner, <laughs> which I need another one. <laughs> Mine is so tiny, but I want to get it all the way down. So let me just line my lips with this. So there is the lip liner applied and I am going to go in with the gloss next. This is the my dream gloss which looks questionable but still smells good so i'm gonna use it <laughs> this is one of my all-time favorite lip combos so if you are interested in this collection and you have not tried the lip products yet 
the gloss and the lip liner are highly recommended. <laughs> okay, so now that the look is completed, let's begin the comparisons. Here is the mini cheek palette next to the My Dream cheek palette. Let me just put them side by side for you. As you can see, very similar vibes for sure. And I want to show you what the blushes look like in comparison. So here at the bottom, you have the light blush from the mini cheek palette, the dark blush from the mini cheek palette, and the mixture of the two. And this is what the cream blush from the bigger palette looks like in comparison. I would say it's pretty similar to the darker blush and also pretty similar to the combination of the two. I do know that not everyone loves the cream blushes from Natasha. So if you wanted this color in a powder form, you have it in the mini palette here. I honestly have never had an issue with Natasha's cream blushes though. So to me, it's honestly pretty much the same besides the fact that this is just more convenient to travel with. And then here's what the highlighters look like side by side. So this is the highlighter from the mini palette and these are both of the highlighters from the bigger palette. As you can see, honestly, very similar to one another. I do, however, see myself getting more use out of the mini palette than I do out of the bigger one because I prefer having two blushes and one highlighter versus these two highlighters in this palette. I honestly don't reach for the highlighters much. I just reach for the blush every once in a while. So I feel like I'm going to get more use out of the new mini palette than I have out of the My Dream Cheek palette. As far as the eyeshadow palette comparisons, we first have to put this one next to the bigger My Dream palette. So take a look at them right here. This mini one is definitely much more neutral and it doesn't have any of the burgundies or any of the peaches that the bigger palette has. There is a lot more variety in the My Dream palette for sure in comparison to this one. In fact, when this one first came out, I didn't think of it much as a My Dream mini. To me, it was more a mini of the I Need a Nude palette from Natasha Denona because I feel like there's many more similarities between these two. But first, let me just do swatch comparisons with this one and then we'll move on to the other one. I actually think swatch comparisons might not even be too necessary. Obviously the shade Nurture is the same on both, so that is going to be an exact dupe right there. But as far as a shade like this one, there's nothing else in this palette as neutral. Here is Unity versus this color right here. And you can see that Unity is a lot more peachy than this very neutral beige shade. I think the other comparison we could make is this shade right here versus Serenity. So take a look right there. Um, the shade in the mini palette is a bit more shiny than Serenity. Serenity is a bit more dull looking, but they do have very similar undertones. I guess there were comparisons to be made, right? Let's do this one versus this one down here. So take a look, the one in the mini palette is a lot more champagne and the one in the midi palette is a lot more golden. And then the last comparison would definitely be this dark brown shade with this dark brown shade right here. So take a look right there. These are pretty similar to one another. I actually think the one from the bigger palette maybe is a bit warmer and the one from the mini palette maybe is a bit darker, but there's barely a difference between those two. So I guess we can say in comparison to the bigger midi version, this one has two shades that can be repeated in the bigger palette. Obviously the one that is exactly the same, which is the shade Nurture right here. You'll find that one in both palettes. And then this dark brown does have a pretty similar counterpart in the midi palette as well. As far as the two shimmers and this lighter, matte shade, there are definitely differences with the ones that look similar in the bigger palette. So now let's compare this mini palette with the I Need a Nude that came out earlier this year. As you can see, these two are very, very similar to one another. So I went ahead and swatched all five shades from my mini palette and found the shades that were the most similar to them from this one, let me show you. This middle row right here is every single shade from the new mini palette from Natasha Denona. And then at the bottom and at the top, I found some colors that look similar. The color that is most similar to Devotion is Travertine from the I Need a Nude palette. However, I do feel like this one is a bit more bronzy and this is a bit more champagne. Then we have the color Balance right here and there are two shades on the I Need a Nude palette that are very similar to Balance, 
those shades being stone right here at the bottom which is a bit more cool toned and mesh up here which is just a tiny bit pinkier the shade in the middle i compared to muse at the bottom which is a lot sparklier but very similar in undertone and then i also compared it to sheen up here which is a bit more golden there was only one shade we could compare to the color loyalty which is the dark brown and that was silhouette from the i need a nude palette lastly this in the middle here is the shade nurture from the mini palette and i couldn't find anything that looked too similar to it i tried stone at the bottom which is darker and more cool toned and i tried vague at the top which as you can see it's just a lot more colorful than nurture is so those right there are my swatch comparisons. So in relation to the I Need a Nude palette from Natasha Denona, this new mini has four shades that are pretty spot on um, when you compare them to these shades right here. So if you have this one and you don't have a need for a mini version, of it, like I said, I feel like this is actually the mini version of this one versus the My Dream palette. Basically, you might not need this new one if you are content with your I Need a Nude palette enough, but if you do want a mini version of I Need a Nude, this right here is it. This is the actual mini version of I Need a Nude. <laughs> I wanted to show you how this one compares to some other of my favorite quints from Natasha Denona. So here's how it compares to the quints from the Glam palette. As you can see, the Glam palette is just much warmer and not as deep as this mini one goes. I also wanted to compare it to her previous mini palette release, which was the mini Starlet palette. The main concern about this one is that it's not deep enough, which this one definitely solves it. If you wanted something similar to this that had a deep enough shade for your complexion. I feel like this new mini dream palette will solve that issue for you. It's also not as pinky and as cool toned as this one. I feel like there's definitely a place in my heart for both of them though. I do like them both a lot. <laughs> And then lastly, I wanted to compare it with my all-time favorite mini palette, which is the mini star palette right here. And the reason this is my all-time favorite is because um, it has two perfect neutral mattes and three shimmers that you can get really nice variety of looks with. And so here's how these two compare side by side. I don't think that this one is replacing my all-time favorite just because I do really love the shimmer shades in this one and the fact that they are different colors and you can kind of switch the look around a bit more. But I do really love this new mini palette from Natasha Denona and I feel like I am going to get a lot of use out of it, especially whenever I leave my house to go anywhere because it is a perfect travel palette. I truly hope that those comparisons were helpful. Let me know if they were in the comment section below and I hope that you guys liked today's eyeshadow look. It was definitely a lot of fun creating it and I actually have somewhere to go after this today so I am all ready to go. I love you all so much. If you guys liked today's video, don't forget to please give it a thumbs up. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to purchase anything Natasha Denona, remember to use my code PATTY15 on her website and you can find all of the links to everything I'm wearing on my face down below in the description box. Thank you all so much for watching. I wish you the happiest new year and I will see you in the next video. Bye!